Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be starting. This is like, this is going to be the first series that I'm posting on this channel. It's a brand new channel. Um, I was hoping to do Rocket League, but I'm going to get to that later. This is something that I've seen a lot of people needing help with, and I felt like this is something I could help in that area. Um, the support server right here, DVM Network, is pretty okay but your message gets skipped over a lot like in here if you ask for help where is it there it is if you ask for help your message usually gets skipped over a lot is and like or maybe somebody doesn't understand your question fully or they just flat out don't know how to help you um, that's why I decided this would be a good idea to start this and there are other videos out there that um, you can go watch and are helpful for mainly or most things that you want to do but um, I develop a few bots uh, some of them are from discord bot makers some of them are hard-coded like uh, this one classy bot um, the youtuber uh, classy on YouTube I I uh, developed for him his bot uh, this one right here is completely hard-coded uh, now streaming is completely hard-coded oh wait no that's a different now streaming this one's not hard-coded this one is um, DBM this one's DBM uh, this one's hard-coded this one is hard-coded Shiba bot is hard-coded so some of these are hard code some of these are from discord bot maker I do both and I am offering help in here. I am also going to display a time uh, of where you can go to uh, skip my talking. So anyway, uh, this server is for support on, on both hard coding and Discord bot maker. I will also help you if you need to get your bot on a host and you can't host it on your own computer. I will help you there as well. Um, the link for the invite will be down in the description along with the other things that I will lay out for you uh, such as where to host and things like that so um, we can go ahead and get started uh, I got discord bot maker open already um, that's the background it, it glitches out and goes away but that's the theme that I'm using right now so this is for CDB assistant right here uh, this bot is you know custom discord bot CDB this bot I made just for helping me execute new commands testing commands and I'm now going to be using it for this purpose so that's why there's not many commands here it has like a welcome and all that stuff but yeah um, so let's get started uh, I'm going to talk about variables first and I will also put time marks on where uh, I talk about certain things so that you can skip ahead if you're needing help in a certain area and then uh, at the end I will just show you I'll go through a, a run through of like, like a command and then I'll show you how it works and you can copy it if you want I also stutter sometimes so I don't have a stutter but bear with me people so variables think of a variable as a notepad in a way or so to speak if we have a notepad let's just call it variable sorry my keyboard's cancer if we have a notepad here this is our variable when we make a variable we are telling this or we're storing something in this notepad so if I tell in here if I make a new action for a command let me make a different command we'll call this test if I make an action for test and this is send message so every time I type test it will send a message let's say testing down here where it says store in this will be our variable so a temp variable 
for instance, we can say, uh, let's name it, I guess, I'll name it test. So now this message is stored in test. So when I send a message, it will take that message and it will store it in this notepad. And then that variable will be called test. I'm not going to rename it test because that's going to take too long. Um, so let's go ahead and let me, let me show you what this looks like. This is going to be, by the way, I'm going to try to keep this as user friendly as possible because I know there are some people out there that are like, come on, just get to the point. I understand how this works. There are also some people out there that have no idea like what any of these words are. Though they may seem simple to some of you, others don't get this, which is why I will show you where to skip to. So we're going to run our bot and I'll show you how all this works later. So when I run this, this is just my bot specifically. You don't have to worry about what it's saying there. Um, the command I have here, which is test, let's go and run test. Now it says testing. This entire message here, this whole message that this bot just sent is now stored in a temp variable called test, which we can use that for something like if I want it to delete that message after a certain amount of time. Let's say we want wait. How many we can choose how long? I'm going to say seconds. I'm going to tell it to wait three seconds. And then I want it to delete message. And right here you can see test, which is the variable message. So again, I run the command, it comes to action one. Action one is to say testing and then store that message in test. Wait five or three seconds rather, then delete the message that was stored in test. With me so far? Pretty simple, easy to understand. So. We save that, which is Control S by the way. And I was pressing. We start up our bot again. By the way, this is running on its own host. I'm running a second instance. That's why I'm starting it here. So we run test. We wait three seconds, and the message just deleted itself. Got that? So variables. Think of it as a notepad or a folder that you're storing something in. So the next thing that we're going to be looking at is how to store data. And the difference between a variable and data is that a variable is something that you call back later on into a command or where you throw it to a different command, which we'll get into that in another video. Storing data is storing something permanently, something that the bot needs to remember. So instead of putting it in a temporary file, we will put that in a permanent file that we will have to manually remove later. So the way this works is I run test. And let's say I run test and I want it to remember something that I tell it. Now this is where we get store command parameters. So find store command parameters. Basically what a parameter is, is when you type the command for this, it would be exclamation point test. Everything after that, so a space is the divider, which you can change by the way a space. After you type a space, everything after that are parameters. So the first space, like let's say I put exclamation point test space, hello. Hello is parameter one. It is parameter one. And if I do another space, like hello 
YouTube, it would be the test command or the command parameter one, and then YouTube is parameter two. And if you're wondering how to store the uh, the command, if you needed to for some reason, it's parameter zero. In code, zero is actually one. I know that's a little confusing, but remember, the command is one. So for instance, test, that's, that's parameter zero, space, hello, parameter one, space, world, parameter two. Zero, one, two. Okay, so data, right. We need to store the first parameter. We're gonna store that as, let's say, I guess we can just store it as param, short for parameter. These can be named whatever you want. Do not name them the same thing. You can name another parameter the same thing in a certain or a very specific circumstance, and I'll get into that too. But for now, just name it whatever you want, something that makes sense to you and you'll remember. But don't name two things the same. So, uh, parameter, right? We named it param. It's going to store that. And then we want to go into our next action here and deprecated I don't know what version you guys are running but deprecated is for me you wanna you can also search it here look for control server data so data we're gonna name it uh, test yeah test we'll name it test and uh, this can be named whatever you want let's say you're trying to make a biography like you want the bot to keep a biography that you tell it to about you. This is like a, for a profile. You could name it something like user bio. You can name it just bio. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm going to name it test though. So what we want it to do is we want it to uh, we want it to store the data name for this current server set the value and then for value we right click go to insert temp variable and we got parameter here we put parameter which is what this records and now that is stored there and for a nice little touch we will say uh, param so actually I'll we'll say data stored save that Node.js. There we go. Now let's see how it works. We do test data stored. And uh, that's basically for storing. Now if you want you want to bring that back, right? So let's make another command. We'll name this test2. And we're gonna tell it to uh, poll data. Now polling data is not the same as uh, what we just did before. It's a little bit different. So look for store server data. And I know this is confusing. Control and store. You would think that store is putting something in your bot. Store is grabbing something from your bot. Same as it storing command parameter. It's grabbing it from your command. So store server data. Remember the name of the data. This is where it comes back. We named it test in the current server. Default value if it doesn't exist. So if the bot, uh, if this data name does not exist, the bot will create it and then set the values whatever this is. We're gonna keep it zero because it doesn't matter. Um, and then we're gonna store that in param. Actually, we're gonna store it as data. And then come back to here your data and then right click insert temp variable data unknown type and there it is hit that save it and then nodebot.js and our command prompt I'm not gonna be doing a tutorial on how to get all of this set up there are plenty of tutorials out there to do it. I will reference you in my Discord if you join and need help. All right, 
So now that our bot is running, let's try running test and we're going to do this. We're gonna do hello. Data stored. Now we run test two. Your data, hello. I can do this again. I can do test uh, goodbye, for instance. Test two, goodbye. All right, guys, so that is it. That is how to do variables and store and control data. If you end up needing help, please join the support server. I would love to help you. If you would like me to make you a bot, I will either do hard code or Discord bot maker, whatever you prefer, or if you don't care, I'll most likely do hard coding. But I will also make you a bot. I will host the bot. I'll teach you how to do it yourself. One-on-one, -on -one, you can come in here. You can go to the support and uh, read the fact if you need something specific down here you will see a channel or a category for discord bot maker i will be putting uh, raw data in here for specific commands basically i will build the command for you you can come and check it out you can also put your own in here you can ask for help you can see me make some quick examples there's one right there and i will post my video tutorials here so that is the end of this video i hope you found it helpful and if you want more videos like this, I'm definitely going to make some more. But if you want this to be a continuous series, uh, please let me know in the comments. I will also be um, considering doing some uh, live streaming to help answer some questions if you guys would be down to watch that. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode.